My name is Carlos Martin. I'm a general surgeon from Guyana. And I'm here in Canada to uh, do a one-year clinical fellowship in vascular surgery uh, with specific learning objectives. Well, the Guyana Surgical uh, Partnership between Guyana and Canada has meant a lot to me through the collaboration between the Canadian Association of General Surgery and the University of Guyana, um, they were able to start the first ever postgraduate education. I was fortunate that I was in surgery, and so I was able to graduate with the diploma in surgery. The collaboration has essentially helped me professionally, uh, financially, but I think one of the things that has done for me in particular is that I've been able to uh, engage and meet a lot of uh, mentors that now I, I can call friends. And more importantly, it's a, a resource that I can tap in at any point if I need clinical advice or even advice in life. But I think the attitude uh, Canadian and outside partners can have when interacting with Guyanese colleagues is uh, an attitude of humility. You're here to help. Uh, you really care about the Guyanese population and that you can also learn from us uh, with what, what we're doing and what we can offer as well. So I think that's the key thing, humility and be open to listen to our ideas as well. And um, I think th that attitude will go a long way um, in terms of our culture. My advice to uh, McMaster residents who would want an elective in Guyana is, uh, first of all, dress light, it's hot and humid. Uh, but have clear objectives in your mind what you want to achieve. Uh, what I can say is that you'll get uh, lots of opportunities to do open cases. Um, you will see diseases further along in the natural history than you know you would probably see in Canada. Uh, you, uh, you would appreciate a different way along the clinical algorithm to manage diseases because there's less imaging and more uh, you have to use clinical acumen. My personal aspiration outside of clinical work um, um, is to uh, is to mentor young people uh, in in both medically and in terms of uh, life experience and uh, giving back in that way. Um, I think that too long uh, in Guyana we have accepted uh, mediocrity and and uh, and have a million excuses as why we cannot be better. And I think uh, it's time for us to move forward and accept that, and understand I should say, that a lot of these solutions to the problems in Guyana doesn't need a billion dollars. It's basic um, leadership, um, uh, using uh, technology, being smart, and really have a yearning from the inside that you really want things to improve. And I think we already have the requisite resources. We have lots of friends, Canadian and other places that are willing to jump in, but it's, it's just time for us to move.